Okay, we're going to change the oil. This is a Bobcat S250. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change the oil on it in case anybody needs to know or wants to know how to do it. Uh, here's your oil drain. This one tucks up there, it's up inside there like that. So just pull it out of there. And you can see there's the 90 kind of comes up. So it's going to be kind of a pain. Um, Usually I try wiring this thing down, but you just want to put it down there, put it over the pan, pull the plug, start draining. And there's a, there's your oil filter. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this thing off and start draining the oil. Okay, once she's done draining, just uh, put this back on. that back on, tighten it up, put it back up in there, and then uh, start filling her up. Okay, well I went ahead and got that back up in there. Uh, got that back in there tight. There's your dipstick. Uh, I'm gonna put the new filter on. Uh, went ahead and put the hours and the date on it. It always helps out for the next guy to change it, so at least you got an idea for maintenance on uh, when to do it. I, I've been reading and about two gallons is supposed to fill these up. I've been seeing that a lot when I was looking it up on this one to begin with. And that's about all I could find out was, you know, about, about two gallons. Uh, I remember changing this before and it seemed like it took a few jugs. This one took about four gallons, just about four gallons with filling the filter up. So... She's full on the dipstick, so I don't know. I don't know what numbers we got, but there's that's four gallons, and she's right to the line. So give or take, just about four gallons, I'd say. But uh, yeah, other than that, four gallons for my machine. Otherwise, they're showing two gallons. But there's your dipstick, oil filter, fill tube, and your uh, drain hose. Just comes out and drain her out. But I'd recommend starting the machine first, getting her warmed up. It doesn't take as long then. Unless you got something else to do, just start draining and walk away. So I don't know if hopefully it's helpful. If you got any comments, go ahead and leave them at the bottom there. Um, any other things you got questions, go ahead and ask me. I'll see if I can answer them for you. So, thanks.